It's Disney Day, bitches! What's up, bitches? Welcome back to Bitches and Pajamas. If oh my God. you can't tell, we're talking about Disney. And if you're watching what? it... What? I know! What's Disney? Yeah, if you're watching it, you can see the Disney. I, I know I if have, you're listening, you can. I have but... more Disney. Um, These also, are all Emily's stuff. Also, low-key, um, this is how much I could grab. Within, like, 30 seconds. Yeah, she grabbed it, like, probably a minute ago, and here we are now. Yeah, and she's wearing my Lion King shirt. I'm wearing my Disney shirt. We got Uh, stuffed animals everywhere. I I, I have my Stitch pillow pet. You have Stitch. We have Perry the Platypus. Mickey, of course. Yeah, you gotta have Mickey. Lady Lady. from Lady and the Tramp. Oh, I love Lady. We got Rex. We got Flower. So, yeah. We're Disney. Set. Disney. So, speaking of Disney, Emily, what are we doing today? What are we doing? <laughs> it's not even March. <laughs> We're going to do a Disney bracket. Um, we both, uh, we have the same bracket. And... I'll explain real quick that in okay. case you don't know, uh, March Madness brackets are a thing in March. In usually. March. It's, it's... Well, it's... November, bitch. <laughs> they, they, they do it usually for basketball teams, but as of recently, people have started to be like, well, what about everyone who doesn't like basketball? So they made a bracket for Hi. freaking everything, <laughs> including Disney movies. To Disney? include Pixar. Yes. To include Pixar, you have to. Pixar is included. I was a little iffy about including Pixar. Yeah, because I feel like it's kind of hard to compare them sometimes. It is. But this one does, it has... I'm, glad, um, I'm, I'm really happy about this one, actually. Same. Really it like has the one. gold... So- Gold and silver era, um, the bronze and renaissance era, the modern era, and then Pixar. Yeah, makes sense. Which it does. Um, and I was I was actually really happy with this bracket. Um, I had already told Dami um, off the podcast that my favorite Disney movie is not what won. And I don't know what happened. Because, you know, if your favorite movie is supposed to win out against everything, that's kind of the point, so I'm not entirely <laughs> sure what... But, okay, we'll go through it, and then you'll explain what your favorite movie actually is, yeah. and for some reason, why it didn't win. Yeah. <laughs> we, we will see, we'll see. And to be honest, there were some that I would I, I picked over others. Yeah. That looking later on, I'm just kind of like, I feel like I would have liked that to be later, and yet somehow it wasn't. Yeah. So, but my favorite definitely won. And you probably already know which Mulan. one is. No. No? <laughs> Not Mulan. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm the fuck shook. You should know. Oh, just kidding. You should know. I do know, but I'm not going to ruin it. Okay, thank you. Um, anyway. um, I did see that that movie was on here, and I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I was like, you should know. We just talked about this. Any- okay, we'll, we'll get to that. Anyway, so um, let's do it, I guess, in fourths, and then we'll get to, like, our top four. Yeah, Top two, good. and then... Well, I feel like we... Yeah, okay, let's do it that way, actually. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so, so we'll, we'll start, start in the... the yeah, so that's, like, the, like, older movies... Mm-hmm. So the first one oh, is. Let me just say real quick. We will we will link an empty bracket in the description. Um, we so should you do that. that. Yeah, I've, that we should do that. We should so do just that. so you guys can follow along, and you can also do it yourselves and share it with us. So, yeah, just so you know. tweet it at us or put it on Instagram. <laughs> like, yeah, good point. There you go. Just wanted to add that in. Hashtag bitches and pajamas. Hashtag bitches and pajamas. Also tag us so I can actually see it. Yeah, it's fine. Cool. Um, okay, so <laughs> the there was a few in this. That I didn't actually know. Which I've is seen weird. all of them. There are some that I've I've saw a very long time what ago. What is the the one that's up against Snow Sa- White? Sa- I can't pronounce it. Saludos Amigos. I've never heard of that. Uh, it was a very old one that Disney did a while ago. It's kind of like um, so- like kind of what is it? Song of the West or Song of the oh. South? Oh, it was kind of like in that in oh, that oh, time oh. period. Holy shit! Just like sorry, the sun is like fucking insane right now. Yeah, no, something's uh, California's on fire. Yeah, we're on fire. <laughs> so um, anyway, and like the sun's just like awesome right now. Also, we're dying. Like, okay, Emily. Sorry. Back, back to, to Disney. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, it was, it's, kind of in, it's kind of in that era of stuff. Gotcha. And okay. the other one that you don't know, which we probably saw, Adventures of What's-His-Face, and I can't remember. Is that is that Adventures of um, something in Ichabod Crane? Yes, exactly. I do and, know and, that and, one. And, yeah, it was saying, that was all kind of in the same, in the yeah. same vein of things. Because they tend gotcha. to be smaller stories yes. within it. Um, yes, yes, yes. But anyway, I did yeah, know so that, that's, that was kind of the same in a way. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. I, honestly, I've seen it once, and it was a uh, it was quite a while ago. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, so I don't really remember it that well. Yeah. And so I Snow White won against it. Yeah, it was that, and that against was literally Snow White. Pretty much the only reason because I don't really remember yeah. it and whether I liked it or not. 
Okay. So. I, like, I knew I had watched it, but that's about it. So, yeah, Snow White went out for that for me. Yeah. Normally, Snow White does not win much of anything no. with me. No, so. White. <laughs> so I we're on the same Snow page White. about that. Um, and then the next is Peter Pan versus The Jungle Book. I had Peter Pan win. Same. Um, same. I did like The Jungle Book. Same. Um, there was, you know, if I'm getting into, like, you know, if I'm getting into actual criticisms of movies, there's a lot of racism in The Jungle Book. That I look into, and the more I watch it, the more I realize it, and the more I don't like it. I really haven't watched it since I was an adult. I do like so. Bare Necessities, though. That's yeah. a good song. Um, my dad always liked The Jungle Book, like, when I was growing yeah. up. So, like... It's got some good music. It's just yeah. some of the themes in it are very, um, at least today, very, yeah. uh, very off base. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, I haven't seen it So, every time adult, I watch so. it as an adult, I'm like, ooh, mmm, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, the next is Bambi versus the Sword of the Stone. I actually had Sword in the Stone win. Same. Okay, good. I fucking so, love that movie. I loved it. And I was cuz it, it kind of had the the adventure aspect that I love. And also, uh-huh. who was that that the villain in that who was um, so fucking oh weird? Oh my god. It's that old woman <laughs> yeah, and so she's like, the best. Yes, yeah, she was my favorite and she yeah, And yeah. they have that wizard duel? <laughs> yeah. And I, what was up with the squirrels? <laughs> <laughs> I, that movie is so great. It was, I, we should watch that again. We should. Actually, I have I'm it. actually intrigued to watch that again. It's been a while um, since I've seen either Bambi or Sword in the Stone. Bambi but. is sad, and also that fucking raindrop, blah blah. Bleep, 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 bleep. Oh, I hate yeah. that song. No, Bambi. No, I mean, Bambi was just one that was. It it's always sad. made me feel weird. It's, it's one of those one of the ones that's like very emotional in a way. Yeah. And I, I'm not here for it. No. Sorry. I know no. a lot of people love Bambi. It's just not my one of my yeah. favorites. And I love Sword in the Stone. That was a Same. fun one. Um, so the next is Pinocchio and Dumbo. This we might have different answers. Pinocchio. I put Dumbo. Okay. But I respect your answer. Yeah. Um, to that be was honest, hard for me. I don't really care for either. Same. Um, so in a way, I really, I used to love Dumbo. I used to watch Dumbo all the time. Dumbo's also the shortest Disney movie. What is it? <laughs> fun fact. I think it was like an hour and ten minutes. Yeah, like probably. That. Something really short. I think it's the shortest actual Disney feature. Yeah. Um, fun fact about that. <laughs> um... I remember I used to like Pinocchio because that's the whole when you wish upon a star bit. Valid. And it had no. a lot of weird adult themes in it. So watching it as an adult is really interesting. And I have not watched it as an yeah, adult. Yeah, watching it as an adult so. is interesting. And then Jiminy Cricket is one of my favorite characters. Jiminy so Cricket's pretty good. When, when I thought about it like that, I was like, I guess Pinocchio wins. I think the but... only reason why I picked Dumbo over Pinocchio is there is a scene. And it's when Pinocchio goes to that island. Mm-hmm. And that scared the shit out of me. I mean, yeah, again, the adult themes. It's a yeah. lot of stuff when you watch it as an adult that yeah. make more sense. But when you're as a kid, it's just a nightmare. Yeah, so, like, <laughs> I just remember, like, being scared. Yeah, yeah, so. I didn't like Pinocchio as a kid. Yeah. I know that for sure. Like, that freaked me out. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, the next bracket is Cinderella and what is that? Give me a second. Um, three something? The three chin- cab- caballeros. Cab- caballeros. caballeros. I've also, that's the other one that I didn't know. I've seen them. I don't really... It's, you know, it's, again, same. A lot of the ones you don't know are kind of, to me, in that same vein of, like... Yeah. Um, a lot of people like it. I don't, I don't know. I feel like I've, I've seen, seen Cinderella, because Cinderella's yeah. classic to me. Same. I think I've seen the movie poster for the other one, but... Yeah, honestly, again, one of the ones that, like, you watch once. I watched once and then never yeah. watched again. Um, so next bracket is 101 Dalmatians versus Lady and the Tramp. Lady and the Tramp. Lady, 100%. 100%. <laughs> like. 100. And part of the reason I do this, because I am, I'm kind of putting together Lady and the Tramp and Lady and the Tramp 2, and uh, I loved the sequel with this okay. kid. Um, I know that that's, that's kind of a weird one, but yeah. for some reason I actually like the sequel more than the original. Interesting. Um, I did like the original, but I like the sequel more, so whenever I'm, I talk about Lady and the Tramp on these brackets... It's always kind of them together. Gotcha. I love the second one. <laughs> See, I think Lady and Trap is so classic and the fucking um, the noodle spaghetti, scene, the spaghetti scene. scene. Like, who doesn't? Like, if I was Lady, I would be like, mm, Mr. Tramp. Yeah. Hey. I mean, in a way, Lady and the Tramp and Aristocats kind of had a very similar almost vibe. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, you're but right. But I like Lady and the Tramp better probably because I don't fucking care about cats oh. i'm sorry i don't not, not for the yeah. most part i'm like no but i liked aristocrats that was a good movie yeah anyway so next one is sleeping beauty versus ichabob yeah, it, yeah you know what i'm talking about yeah i can never get it, that name right and i picked sleeping beauty i did too mostly, she is my princess yeah. is she really a princess mm-hmm. um i she's, pick it because of the fairies 
Uh, yeah. Because the fairies are my favorite part, and then yeah. especially after watching Maleficent. I always <laughs> thought uh, Aurora was the most beautiful princess, and that's really? why I liked her. I she's got she has I, the dullest personality. To be honest, I was gonna say, to be honest, I hated that movie for the most part. It's a shitty movie, it, simply because I'm just like she's asleep for the entire movie. How is like it's the worst she, she's Disney not movie. A, a celeb, a, a, sorry, a, a princess you want to like be pining no. after. No, anyway, but I think she's gorgeous, Whatever. and like that's why. Cool. At least we're on the same we're on the same page for most of these. Yeah. Um, We're gonna, it's gonna get weird over in the oh, other side. Oh, it's gonna get weird. Gonna get I'm weird. not ready for that side. <laughs> um, Fantasia versus Alice in Wonderland. I put Fantasia. Same. I love Fantasia. That was the only way my mom could shower when I was a kid. <laughs> yeah, we used to put that on about Fantasia 2000 as well. That mm-hmm. was one. I'm just, just, just play the... Uh. Yeah, literally. It was such an acid trip. Yeah, <laughs> honestly, I don't. Such an I don't know if I would be honest, like. To be honest, Alice in Wonderland is also an acid trip. So, yeah. like, it's kind of cool that they're same both drugs. <laughs> um, but don't yeah. do drugs, kids. No. <laughs> um, but literally, when I was growing up, like my mom would literally put on that or put on Fantasia, and that's the only way she could shower because it would be the only thing that would distract me all really? the way through. It was. It's, it's very intriguing. And surprisingly, because there's really no like solid. St- Story, no, you know? yeah, there's no solid. It's story. just the color and the music would like draw yeah. me in, and it'd it's be like, like watching hypnotic. little Beethoven. Yeah, <laughs> you know those movies. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, okay, okay so, so let's go. Oh wait, no, we need to go. Yeah, in. We're, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna yeah. move in. Okay, so now that we've gone through the era, now we're gonna kind of get a little deeper into it. Yeah. So, so for me, you, you go for you. It's Snow White versus Peter Pan. Okay. Peter Pan wins. Got it. Yep, I had Peter Pan win as well. Um, and then Sword in the Stone, and is there a reason why Peter, well, I mean, okay, we don't talk I about hate that. Snow I White. Like Snow White. Yeah, I, I hate was like, Snow wait White. a minute, we don't need to talk about that. No. Um, Sword in the Stone, yours is Pinocchio, mine's Dumbo, and Sword in the Stone won. Sword in the Stone won for me as well. Yeah. Um, and then Cinderella and Lady and the Tramp. Mm-hmm. Um, Lady, Lady and, and the Tramp. Tramp. Yep. Uh, Sleeping Beauty Beauty versus versus Fantasia. I had Fantasia. Same. Good. Okay. Um, (laughs) We're on the same page for all those. Because Aurora is my favorite princess, but, like, she's dull and boring, and everybody hates the fucking movie. Like, Fantasia's an awesome movie. Love you, girl. You're my VIP, but, like... No, but Fantasia's just a great... It is. Yeah. So, 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 yeah, I think we're good there. Yeah, Peter Peter Pan Pan versus Sword in the Stone. I picked Peter Pan. Peter Pan. Did you? I actually did. And that was actually a tough one for me. That was one of the ones where I'm like... Oh, that's rough. Um, yeah. But I, I did ultimately pick Peter Pan. I picked Sword in the Stone. Peter Pan is a very classic story for me. It is. And I always, of course, after I watch Once Upon a Time, it's slightly ruined. But, yeah. <laughs> but, 100%. you know. Um, um, but, yeah, it was a very classic story for me that I watched, honestly, more than Sword in the Stone. Mm-hmm. Um, so I did pick that one. If I had to choose which one I, I normally would want to watch, it'd probably be Peter Pan. See, and that's so. same reason, but opposite for me. Like, yeah. I would pick Sword in the Stone because I find it more entertaining than Peter Pan. Yeah. I think it's technically more entertaining, but Peter mm-hmm. Pan just to me was, it's one it's I... classic. Yeah, again, it's classic. No, and it's I totally get those, that. And that was a really rough one for me to do, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then that leaves Lady and Tramp and Fantasia. I, I did Lady and the Tramp. Same. Yeah. And just, I, that was also a rough one, but like Fantasia, it's almost for me like Fantasia only goes so far. Yeah. Bef- before you're up against like, you know, like, like something really as classic as Lady in the Tramp. Yeah, and like, like something that actually has a story. Yeah, exactly. Like, na- like, like again, Fantasia itself can only go so far before like, yeah. it's up against real stories. So yours is Peter Van, Peter, Peter Van. Peter Van. <laughs> Peter Pan <laughs> versus Van. Lady in the <laughs> Tramp. <laughs> that travels you all around to Neverland. <laughs> okay, we need a sequel. Nevan Land. Nevan Land. <laughs> um, so I had Peter Pan versus Lady and the Tramp, and I picked Lady and the Tramp. I. You probably picked Sword in the Stone. I did. Years. I did. You, you were Sword in the Stone versus Lady and the Tramp. You picked Sword in the Stone. I, I did. I, it sounded like based on what you were mm-hmm. you were saying before that made sense. Yeah, no one hundred percent. So my winner for the Golden Silver Era was Lady and the Tramp, and mine was Sword in the Stone. But okay. I res- I respect yours. Yeah, and I, again, I completely respect that like, yours yeah. was a rough one and. We're not it's fighting kind of yet weird because because <laughs> what once okay so like if Sword in the Stone had won mm-hmm. and it were against Lady and the Tramp in my head it almost might have beat Lady and the Tramp really yeah like yeah. I might have put the it's almost like maybe it's because it's comparing like two di- different things you it know? is and that's probably why your favorite movie somehow didn't make it up yeah which is weird. Yeah, no, 100%. And honestly, there's a lot of reasons why I can say a lot of these movies are my favorites, mm-hmm. and they just don't compare to the other favorites. Yeah. But I do have one definitive favorite. <laughs> you do. <laughs> um, okay, so let's go to the Bronze and Renaissance. Woo! This is this is where we might start seeing some contention. Yes. I think modern era is where you're really going to get mad at me. <laughs> and Pixar, actually. No, Pixar is where you're going to hate me. <laughs> yes. Sorry. Pro- no, <laughs> the other side, we're fucked. Yeah, other like, side, we I will probably 100%. have to move out. 
<laughs> um, okay, so actually the first one, which is Beauty, Beauty and the, the Beast, Beast and Brave Little Toaster, was actually difficult for me. Really? I love the Brave Little Toaster. I, you know, that's another one I only watched like once or twice. Um, I love that this little, little toaster... Little that could not Disney? No. I don't know. I didn't... I, for some reason I thought it was. So I was sitting here like, where is that? Because I used to love that mm-hmm. movie. Do you remember the part when they were like really sad and he like shut down in a cave? And it was, like, really sad, and then all of a sudden it was like, I think I can, and they started going. That was, like, the most inspirational thing I've ever <laughs> seen in my entire life. See, I think the Brave Little Toaster... I'm literally toaster, about to cry thinking about it. Like the I'm Brave saying. Little Toaster, to me... Sorry. Like, I don't know why there, that made me think of it. There was the scary air conditioner and the vacuum, <laughs> and, like... Sorry. Um, there's the blanket. Oh, the little blanket. I I didn't watch it that much. I don't know. Oh, we'll have to watch Honestly, it. Honestly, I don't. I don't. For me, it, it was just like this toaster. Basically, their owner left them, and they just wanted their owner back because they had no reason to live anymore. And it was just this like power to like get their owner back and just like of appliances. I just He's the brave little toaster. I mean but, I, and, I mean I respect it. But, but like Beauty and the Beast still won. So. Oh you put Beauty and the Beast yeah and I put Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. As much as I fight for Brave Little Toaster. No, that's interesting that that was yeah. that you've actually really liked that movie because I don't hear yeah. a lot of people say they really like oh, it. It's such a good movie. Well let us know if you like Brave Little Toaster. <laughs> we can be best friends. Yeah. Instant best friends. There you go. No but I had Beauty and the Beast win. Just yeah. made the most sense to me. It does. Um, Tar- I do really like Beauty and the Beast. So. I really do, too. So Tarzan and um, Winnie the Pooh. I had Tarzan, Tarzan 100%. Yeah. And I freaking love Tarzan. And to be honest, in most every time I do these freaking brackets, I want Tarzan to be my top four. Because generally, yeah. Tarzan is one of my favorite movies. It's Disney movies. Phil Collins? Yeah, first of all, did the music. Phil fantastic. Collins? Tarzan is fucking amazing. Oh, oh I love <laughs> Tarzan. Tarzan himself is amazing. It's just, it's a movie I've, I've watched at least once a month for sure. And there's like uh, the emotion and the drama. But yeah, no, it's just, it's, the it's romance. a very good movie. But for some reason, whenever I do these brackets, it somehow doesn't get too far. And it's yeah. always weird. But um, I always, oh, and he just, he can't speak English and Jade teaches him and it's just, Oh! Yeah, but yeah, Tarzan wins, and again, I love. God, Winnie I'm the a Pooh. romantic. Human. We watch Winnie the Pooh all the time as kids, so I wish I could say I love. But I love Winnie the Pooh for it's for kind of separately, yeah. like mm-hmm. for its own reasons. But versus all of these, I don't. For me, Winnie the Pooh's a book. Yeah, no, I agree. Mm-hmm. We definitely watch, you know, the show. Yeah, too, but anyway, but um, yeah, there's that. Little Mermaid versus okay. Pocahontas. That was also a tough one. This is, it's. I wouldn't say it's tough. So here's the thing, I would love to say that Pocahontas wins. Mm-hmm. You know, but as I grow up mm-hmm. and learn just exactly, you know, Pocahontas <laughs> in real life versus yeah. Pocahontas in the movie, and I know like you can't, I can't always compare that. Yeah. But to me, it's kind of important to be like, I wish I could say I love Pocahontas, but in real life, Pocahontas, it was was not the case. And yeah. I fucking hate John Smith. Yeah. And just the anyway, Savages is one of the best villain songs oh. of all time. Because it's not savages, even a villain song. Savages, it's like a barely even human. Yeah, it's one of the best villain songs of all time. You get like, yeah, <laughs> I, I can fight for that. But I did pick the Little Mermaid. Okay, I respect it because this yeah. was a hard bracket for me. I did pick Pocahontas, mm-hmm. um, and only and it's very similar to what you are and like yeah like the story's not real in Pocahontas like yeah it's, it's like I get that but then it's, so that which is why I have to be like I'm like for I'm sorry, me I can't. Ariel is such a little fucking. Bitch brat. No, and that's why I didn't want Little Mermaid to win, but yeah. then at the same time, Little Mermaid is probably the Disney movie I have seen the most. Yeah, no, understandable, but and like, I don't know bitch, why. I'm do not, gonna... not give your voice up for dick. Like, exactly. no. no. Get your, like, no, just no. Ariel also, that's going to be the... a great audio. <laughs> Thank you. Clapping in front of the that. mic. I'm You're welcome for your ears. <laughs> no, no, she, she was clapping in front of the mic. Um, yeah. No, it, yeah. Yeah, I, I I can't with I her. Just, I still, there's something about the little, uh, first of yeah. all, it has Ursula. Oh, has Sebastian. I know. Ursula is my you know, actual Sebastian. queen. She's my goddess. Like, I think I might be Ursula. Mm-hmm. I love, as, as a prince, I love Prince Eric. Yes. Prince Eric is one of my favorite princes. Yeah. And again, like all, like it's the, like the colors, it's just kind of, it's just kind of a really fun movie. It is. So I do put it as one of my favorites. Even no, Even if Ariel is super ditzy. And somehow, yeah. for some reason, people keep comparing me to her. Like, I always get Ariel in those Disney quizzes. No. I always get Ariel, and I'm like, no. why? If anything, you're Belle. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, because I have brown hair. <laughs> no, <laughs> literally because you no. fucking love to read. Okay, that's, that's, thanks. You're welcome. Uh, anyway, but yeah, uh. <laughs> no, so I, I, did, I did put Little Mermaid. I respect Pocahontas being there. Yeah. 
it's just one that like I can't in good conscience say like and have it win. No, that's, that's literally my my only reason. I get it. Um, um, and then Mulan versus Fox and the Hound. Mulan. Mulan. I did like Fox and the Hound. Oh, actually, I love that movie, and that's like one of the movies that can like fucking make you cry. Yeah, I, I can uh, understand that. Oh, uh, copper. Oh, I love copper. <laughs> It was one, it's kind of, for me, like, Bambi. It's one of those ones where it's, like, mm. it makes me feel emotions, and I don't appreciate that right now. Valid. Valid. <laughs> no, it's just kind of one of the, but also, first of all, Mulan. Mulan is mm-hmm. one, probably one of my favorite, it, okay, it is one of my favorite Disney movies of all fucking time. Yeah. It's, it is the mm. movie, it, it is actually the Disney movie I have seen the most. <laughs> <laughs> Legitimately the Disney yeah. movie I have seen the most. <laughs> um, okay, so the next bracket. This is where, this section right here is when we're going to start fighting. Probably. Um, because it's Aladdin versus Robin Hood. I have Aladdin win. And I have Robin Hood. Interesting. I like that movie. I did used to like that movie, but I, you know, I, I liked Aladdin more. <laughs> it's just yeah, no, I loved, I, I think as an adult, I would like Aladdin more than Robin Hood. Yeah, I know, Hood. you said, you said Aladdin used to freak you out because of like the, the, the giant cat Yeah, cave. the like, <laughs> yeah, the cat cave and the sand and like, oh, it, like, scared the shit out of me. And, like, Robin Hood, I I remember watching it a lot as a mm-hmm. kid. Um, and Aladdin, I wasn't able to watch. As an adult, I would feel differently. But, like, for me, Robin Hood, like, going back to my childhood, like, Robin Hood won. Okay. And that's the only reason. But, like, okay. I, I completely no, understand that's Aladdin. Fine. Again, I, I mean... I, I, that I, is unpopular penguin. I actually like, completely forgot that you didn't like Aladdin. Yeah. No, don't worry. I have an unpopular... I have a bunch of unpopular opinions coming up. Yeah. Some very unpopular opinions. Yeah, <laughs> the next one... That. The next one, too, though. My, my Nightmare Before Christmas and Rescuers. Rescuers. I put Nightmare Before Christmas. Rescuers. Really? Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so... I have a reason for Rescuers kind of being not very high on my list. Mm-hmm. I might have liked it more. I watched it... I used to watch it around the same time as I watched uh, Secrets of Nim. Oh, and that I love one, Secrets I love that Nim. movie. I love it now. But at the time, it was very scary. So and because scary. they're both kind of about rats, yeah. I kind of would combine them. So for the longest okay. time, when I thought of Secrets of Nim, I thought of The Rescuers. So they were yeah. kind of one and the same to me for a long time. No, that makes sense. And now as I'm older, I know there's a difference. But I still, in my head, Rescuers has like a scary tinge to it. It does. The fucking and I guess in the, in the same Nightmare Before Christmas kind of is also well, that. Yeah. Way. But it's almost like it's supposed to be like that. You exactly. Know? <laughs> no, Rescuers I think is such an underrated movie. It, it's, I mean, it's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> like, and I think I that, love I that she like, like does like class. skis with the gators. Do you remember that scene? Yeah. No, that yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It had it was a very action oriented one. Yeah. It was kind of it was kind of fun. It was you know rats oh, on and the, the little girl who just wanted or mice on the adventure. I guess I'm not sure rats or mice. It's mice. I couldn't remember. Um, um, but I did put Nightmare Before Christmas. And I, um, I respect it. I know. And, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm sure you liked it. But I did put Nightmare Before Christmas. Just, like, I, I, I didn't really like that one. Mostly mm-hmm. also because it was Christmas-oriented, and I like Christmas. You do. <laughs> so the next bracket is The Lion King and The Aristocrats. Um, Lion King. Aristocats. Aristocats. What did I? <laughs> oh, I said cracks, didn't I? <laughs> I mean, that's what it's based. That's the well, one yeah. it's based on. But I did have Lion King win. Yeah. Um, um, I love The Aristocrats. Jesus Christ yeah. today. But The Lion King is a classic. It's beautiful. It is a very beautiful film, a very well done film. The colors in it, the music. Literally, in it. the sun right now reminds me of The Lion, Lion King. King. Yeah. It's freaking no, me the yep. fuck out. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I mean, Lion King wins. And I don't yeah. think anyone's particularly surprised by that. But no. Yeah. Um, um, next is Hercules and Hunchback. Oh, I had such a hard time. I with sat this there one. for a half an these, hour. Because these, these two, okay. So, I, I, this is very weird. I don't know how to explain this, but Hercules and Hunchback have a very special place in my heart, and they kind of house same. the same place. Yeah. Separate from everything else. Same. And, so, having them fight, buy against each other, I'm like, fuck, no! Yeah. <laughs> They're both supposed to be, like, separate, but, like, <laughs> yeah. later. They would have both gone very far yeah. if they weren't together. Because um, I love the music in Hunchback. Mm-hmm. is freaking gorgeous. Oh. The themes in it are just Ugh. so adult, but like so well done, yeah. even for kids. As a kid, I even liked it. Yeah. Um, and Hercules is is again, ah, oh, no, Hercules just, is definitely. It has some of my, some of my favorite music. Yeah. You know, in any Disney film ever. Yeah. Um. And I just and it's just really fun. It's got really it's really bright. Um, like you you gotta love you gotta love some some good Where's Greek. Nassau? You, you got to love some good Greek mythology. Uh, <laughs> so I actually Greek. really enjoy Greek mythology. I did too. Yeah, as a, yeah. So I mean, and obviously, it's not accurate necessarily, no. but like it's it's fun that it's incorporated. Yeah. You know? 
And Hades, no. Oh. He's oh. so funny. Oh. He's the best. The Hades can burn me all day. <laughs> I love but, me some Hades. But yeah, but I, I ended up having Hercules win out of the two. I decided if I had to pick one, I'd probably pick Hercules. And I 100%, 100% respect, but yeah. I gotta go with Hunchback. Hunchback. Yeah. Um, for me, that is such a beautiful, beautiful movie. Mm-hmm. Um, and like, um, God, what's it called? Uh, God, God Help the Outcast? Yes. That and the um, I like the bells of Notre Dame. That the theme oh, that constantly plays. That around. and the um, uh, fuck a dick. The um, one that the fools one. The fools festival. No, Hellfire. Oh, Hellfire. oh my god, that is that is actually that is the best oh. villain song of actually. Yeah, I said Savages was, but no, Hellfire is no. the best villain song. It's, it's and oh, like it's so good. And I actually they have a musical of Hunchback, and I saw the yeah. musical, uh-huh. and it just I can't. It was so I like I love Hellfire, and it's mostly because of that one line. Like um, what? Okay, what, what, what was it? You um, will burn. No, it was it was um. I'm such a ma- good it was singer. the um, make the devil so much sm- stronger than a man. Mm-hmm. Th- that part right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, was always like the most powerful thing to me. Yeah, so we definitely have a lot of differences in here. Yeah, so that'll be yeah. I mean, it'll make this interesting. Okay, yeah. so so um, we're so for me, it's Beauty and the Beast versus Tarzan. Same here, and I had Tarzan win. Same. Um, I, like again, I love Beauty and the Beast, but I Tarzan just it, it's, it's just I just watch it more. I yeah. like it better. I just like um, there's no way to explain it. Yeah, some of these it's hard to compare. It's like I like them both. But if I had to pick, I'd yeah, one hundred percent. Um, I have Pocahontas versus Mulan. Yours is different. Little Mermaid versus Mulan, but I end up having Mulan win. Same. Mulan is fantastic. Mulan is great. Don't yes. try to convince me otherwise. I am no. very excited for live action Mulan. Actually, oh, same. especially because they're doing they're using like Chinese people. Yeah, they're actually using like a Chinese cast, which is badass and they're trying and to base needed. it and they're trying to base it more off of the actual uh, actual story of Mulan. Oh, really? Appa- apparently, so I've heard. I don't know. If That's this is super true. badass. So like that would I, yeah, I'm really excited. I'm kind of interested to see how they where they take it. All right. So next I have uh, Robin Hood versus the Rescuers. Yeah, so yours is entirely different yeah. at this point. <laughs> So, and I have Rescuers win. Oh, okay. Interesting. Mm-hmm. I had Aladdin versus Nightmare Before Christmas. I did have Aladdin win. I, I and, do still like Aladdin. It's, again, a very classic yeah, one. Yeah, no, 100%. Um, and then I have Lion King versus uh, it's Hunchback. It's unfortunate, though, because Aladdin, I do put well before, like, Hercules, Hunchback, and yeah. Notre Dame. Like, I like it. Yeah. But it just happened to be what it was up against. Yeah. Um, so next, I have Lion King versus Hunchback, and Hunchback wins. Oh, nice. Yeah. I did have a Lion King versus Hercules, and I did have Lion King win. Okay. Um, and, and again, like the, those two are kind of put, and it's kind of weird because I would mm-hmm. have them much farther. Yeah. But it's what, just how they were. When I'm comparing them, I'm like, I think Lion King is a better movie. That said, mm-hmm. I am more likely to watch the other. Two. Yeah. No. One hundred percent. But if I, but it was, it's, it's, it's kind of hard to judge. That. Yeah, that was it's really like, hard. If I have to say which one's a better movie. Like I'm like Lion King. I think is a better movie. I. Yeah. So that was the way I ended up judging it yeah. in the end. No, I agree with that. So then my next would be Tarzan versus Mulan, and I went Tarzan. Oh, I went Mulan, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> can you be, can you, are you really surprised? No. And then <laughs> uh, Rescuers versus Hunchback and Hunchback won. Okay, I saw that coming, honestly. Yeah. Um, and I had Aladdin, uh, sorry, I have Tarzan versus Mulan, I had Mulan win. And then Aladdin versus Lion King, I had Lion King win. Okay. So I have Mulan versus Lion King, and I have Mulan win out. Okay. Um, because That's fair. I, I do, I just, I really like Mulan. Like there's, I'm sorry guys, there is. is no, Mulan's sh- a kick-ass <laughs> movie. I, yeah. So no. Mulan wins my bronze and renaissance era. Sorry. Yeah. No, that's fine. <laughs> um, okay. Won. So let's go to. Oh, and you didn't say who won yours. Hunchback. You oh. You didn't, you didn't get that far. You said, t- you didn't get to Tarzan versus Hunchback. Yeah, I did. And I said Hunchback. Oh, okay. Well, I missed that. It's all good. But Hunchback won. Okay. So her, her uh, winner of that is Hunchback. <laughs> Um, so let's go to modern era. This is going to be... Yeah, this is very much... I mean, this is this this part might be okay. And at yeah. least, like, I'll respect your opinions because these yeah. are kind of ones where it's like I can be a little more flexible, to be honest. Yeah. Because I, I have less of opinions in these cases. When I get to mm-hmm. Pixar is when things are going to get iffy yeah. for me. Um, so first one is Moana versus Chicken Little. Moana. Moana. Chicken I, Little's a great movie, I didn't but... I like Chicken Little. I'm sorry. It's not... Disney's strongest. Yeah, no, it's not. I mean, you know, I, I definitely watched it once. But yeah, <laughs> that was about it. The next one was really hard for Lilo me. And Stitch versus, we, I knew that was going to be hard for you. I because picked Lilo and Stitch. I picked Lilo Hello. and Stitch too. 
Um, I love Princess and the Frog. The music yeah. is so phenomenal. The more I watch it, the more I like it. Yeah. I really like um, it. But for me, Lilo and Stitch has such a special And I really like how heart. they made, how they drew the bodies in Lilo yeah. and Stitch. Like, they're very, they're much more realistic. Yeah. And it's just like a, a, a fun adventure romp. It is. And Lilo's just a fun character. Like, she's, she's, a, she's an annoying little kid. She's but she's so also funny. great. <laughs> yeah. And, like, for me, Lilo and Stitch is, like, Caitlin and I's movie, my cousin. Yeah. And, like, uh, like literally, we were going to get Ohana tattoos. Like I'm not surprised. No. <laughs> yeah, um, I love the Ohana means family. And teaching, like, mm-hmm. you know, something that doesn't know about family about family. I just, I just, yeah. I just think it's, it's, such, it's a very good. It's such a good, like, family movie. Like It, it is. It really, like, brings it back. It's great for kids. Yeah. I think it's fantastic for kids. And, like, honestly, like, having a movie where the older sister has, mm-hmm. like, like basically, yeah. their parents died, and like mm-hmm. she has to take care of her. Yeah. Little oh yeah. Sister. And the more you watch it, the more you realize how cool Nani is. Like, yeah. How awesome Nani's she is, and how badass. hard she's working. Yeah. And, like, and also how nice David is. Oh God, David! Like you know, he co- totally respects Nani. Like he's yeah. totally like helping her out. Like yeah. he's not really trying. Like he's we want. Like he he wants to be with Nani, but he's not trying to like push her with Lilo or to you know to do yeah. any of that. He just David's wants to awesome. be supportive. <laughs> Where's my David? Right. <laughs> okay. But anyway. Yeah. Um. So, so next, yeah. also kind of hard for oh me. Oh my god, this one was re- this was well, actually the probably the hardest one on this bracket. Today. Um, <laughs> Tangled versus the Goofy movie, and I almost picked Goofy movie. I ended up picking Tangled. Same. Um, I really almost Flynn picked Goofy. Rider. No, there was and. It was almost. It was partially also because mo- recently I had one of my film teachers actually posted on Facebook being like, "Tangled is the best Disney movie. Fight me on it." And yeah. then he went on and basically described how he has a little uh, little daughter now, and basically described how the movie is very great for little girls to kind yeah. of teach them their power of choice and like their strength. And no, one hundred percent. It's um, a kick ass movie. So after you kind of went on about, the, you had a little paragraph going on. But after reading that, it was kind of more like I love Tangle already. Yeah. But after hearing that, it's oh, almost just like wow. And no, I really like Tangle. It was so good. Oh. It is a very and also Mother Gothel is oh is, my is god the scariest Mother? Disney no. villain because no. you know she's probably the scariest Disney villain because yeah. she is. You almost Connect believe you almost believe that she actually likes the child, yeah. In some ways, like in some senses, and they they they're very good about like almost making her like you know look like she like loves her, but then you see she's actually touching her hair, yeah, or she's doing you know doing this or yeah. something, and that's actually terrifying. Yeah, it is. No, one hundred percent. But yeah. Um, um. So next was Wreck It Ralph and Treasure Planet. This was a little bit tough. I used I used to really love Treasure Planet. Mm-hmm. Um, and honestly, that's older than Re- Rick and Ralph. Too. Yeah. So for for a while, Treasure Planet was was a very popular movie with me and yeah. my brother. Um, I did pick Wreck-It Ralph because right now it's Wreck-It Ralph is a, is a fantastic movie. It's genius. It is a genius movie. Like to get a movie that had so many unbelievable references. Yeah. And it not to be super corny. Yeah, it wasn't corny. It was like I like I I felt it. Like it was. Yeah. Really, and it wasn't. There wasn't really like any super romance parts no. of it. I mean, there was like a little romance subplot. Yeah. But it wasn't pushed in our face, and no. it was very much about respect. Yeah. And like understanding, and you know all that other stuff yeah um and then like the actual love story was about wreck and ralph like finding a friendship with this little child yeah <laughs> you know um, and it was awesome and i love yeah. that <laughs> and like oh the fucking oreos that are the Oreo. guards Rio. <laughs> oh <laughs> like <laughs> what excuse me <laughs> was it? I, I remember sitting in the movie theater and just imploding and then exploding all over the theater and being like oh. they just incorporated uh wizard of oz in the most genius way possible yep. and like i oh there was a there was a lot there was a lot of great yeah. stuff in there <laughs> this one okay so the next bracket is utopia and uh mm. brother bear and brother bear <gasps> i Love Brother Bear. Same. And honestly, Brother Bear would have probably won this entire bracket if the next one yeah. didn't exist. No, I <laughs> thought you were, next... like, everybody loves Zootopia. Um, I've and... only seen it, I saw it once with you and I saw it once before. Um, and I, I, I like Zootopia. It's good, I think, I think but... it's a very good movie and a lot of people really like it nowadays. Yeah. But, and like, again, I really like it. Um, but Brother Bear has a very special place yeah. in my heart. Yeah, no, I love Brother Bear. The only part I really like about Zootopia is my actual being is in Zootopia. 
It's um if you watch Zootopia, it's I'm in the first like thirty seconds. I'm the little tiger that's doing all the noises at the Yeah, you always say Yeah. <laughs> No, no, no. Um, no, I, I love Zootopia. I just, I think it has a lot of, again, great, great themes and great yeah. discussions in it. No, 100%. Um, but Brother, Brother Bears. Bears Brother Bear, so again, good. is another one of those family ones. It has a similar feel to me as Lilo and Stitch. Yeah. Um, but it's a little darker. Yeah. And I really, I really like it. And again, yeah. I love, I love stories that are about family and friendship. Mm-hmm. So ones that are focused on that and not romance are like, really get me. Yeah. Really get to me. And I love it. No, 100%. So the next is Emperor's New Groove and Volt. Bolt. Emperor Emperor's One. Negroove. Emperor's New Group. Can you guys tell what my favorite movie is yet? <laughs> no. Not at all. Um, Emperor's I, New Groove is I great. I, I saw Bolt once or twice. Um, I didn't... I don't know if I've ever actually like seen the full Bolt. I know Miley Cyrus has a character in it. Yeah. She's the little girl. <laughs> yeah, and Bolt, Bolt was the one... If I recall correctly, I'm trying to remember. Make sure I got the right movie. Here <laughs> was the one about like the the like super starved dog, and then he like goes out into the real world. Yeah, the, 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 yeah, this was the one. He was like like he's like he's like belonged to the Miley Cyrus character yeah. or something, and he was like he's like a superstar, but he thinks he's a real action star. So he goes out into the real world. Yes, and he yes, acts yes, like yes, he's yes, yes, yes. An action star, but it's the real world. Yes. And I honestly don't remember how that movie ended, um, but I have seen it a couple times, like, when it first came out. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, totally off subject, though, but, like, I wish you guys could see the goddamn sun, because it's, like, I can't red. Oh, my God! It is legitimately red. We probably shouldn't be staring at it, because it's not good for you. It's, like, no, it's, bonkers. It looks, it looks literally, it looks hot pink. Yeah. It looks hot pink. It's bonkers. That is insane. Is that normal? No. <laughs> What the fuck, California? Okay, sorry. I had right, to, no, like, I've been, is... like, I keep staring. Like, no, if you're no, watching I, I, it. I, I, I feel this. Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> anyway. So, next bracket. Um, Frozen versus Atlantis. I actually had a hard time with this one. Um, I did pick Frozen. Same. Um, I really kind of wanted to pick Atlantis. Yeah. So, I almost did pick Atlantis. But, in the end, I really, I really do like Frozen. It's, I do. It's kind of fallen down my likes a yeah. little bit now. But, like, when it first came out, I was upset. Yeah, and um, but Atlantis another, is definitely a very a very good movie. Yeah, for me, Frozen is another. Um, it reminds me of my cousin. Yeah. Um, she constantly tells me I'm Anna, and uh, I, I get constantly told I'm Anna. So yeah, we're fine. <laughs> yeah. Um, we saw. I I'm also obsessed with uh-huh. like in Disneyland they have the show Frozen and yeah. When I watch it, uh, everyone pretty much that I've been with is like, yep, you you're on stage right now, Emily, and I'm like. I don't know, fam. I've also been told I'm Olaf. <laughs> <laughs> I like warm hands. <laughs> um, okay, so next Big is... Big Hero 6 and Meet the Robinsons. Another kind of hard one, because I really, I really did like... When I first saw Meet the Robinsons, I really liked it. And I did really like it. Um, Big Hero 6 is... Baymax is, like, my soul. My see, soul I'm not going to lie to you. Animal. I have not seen it yet. I've oh, always really? wanted to see it. Oh. But I didn't actually get it's to see actually, it. It's actually, it also has kind of dark themes. Does I, it? Yeah, because I'm not going to spoil it for you. No. Because honestly, I didn't know this was coming when I first watched the movie. Yeah, I really <laughs> so, don't know much about no, the yeah, movie so, either. So I, I think if you if you saw it, you would really like it. Probably. Um, but it is it is very, it has, it actually has a very Meet the Robinsons vibe. Oh, okay. And actually the main character is a lot like, what's his face? The blonde oh, kid. Fuck. What's his name again? Oh, it's not Max. Okay, no. um, what was his name? No, 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 They don't say his name for most of it. Well, he, they end up saying a fake name for part of it. Remember? Yeah. Because he uses a fake name when he's there with them. Yeah. So that's why I was like, what's his name again? I don't remember. Okay, I can't remember, but Blonde Kid, um, the main character in Meet the Robinsons. Yeah. Um, well, because I haven't seen um, yeah, so I can, I Big can, Hero, yeah. I got uh, Meet no, the Robinsons. I, well, we should actually, I mean, we should watch Big Hero 6 tonight. <laughs> I don't own it. Well, we can find it online. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, well, we'll, we'll figure it out. Um, no, but cool. Big Hero 6 is is a very good movie. And yeah. It, again, it's a lot about, like, a kid learning to, to cope, and, you know, he creates... Oh, shit, so... Yeah. Uh, and, and, <laughs> it's well, going to be a great again, movie for like me. It was, like, Meet the, Ro- Meet the Robinsons yeah. was kind of like that, too. But a kid that learning one. to cope, and he creates something that basically becomes his friend. Mm-hmm. It, 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 that's the way I, I would describe gotcha. it probably I will tell you for some reason I always get Meet the Robinsons and Robots mixed up really they're totally two different movies they are oh my god I forgot about Robots Robots is I such a Robots. good movie I have it <laughs> anyway, um, anyway um, so, so let's that, go back through so, yeah we're going, going back through that's modern era so let's go back through all that so for me Moana versus Lilo and Stitch mm-hmm. um I had a really rough time with this one I did pick Moana did I you? I really like Moana 
Um, I do too. I'm sure um, you picked Lilo and Stitch. I did. I kind of, I kind of figured that mm-hmm. when we heard this was going. But I'm like, I, I'm a big fan of Moana right now. Anyway. Yeah. No. Um. um I actually. I, I f- love the music in it. Yeah. <laughs> I fall asleep to a movie every single night. Mm-hmm. It's normally a Disney movie because I'm Disney trash. Yeah. Um, I mean, we well, have to fall asleep to for something. months. It was Moana. Um. But right now, I've been watching Lilo and Stitch, and I go through phases all the time. Mm-hmm. And my cousin and I have a joke that I never make it through to I think I never make it to Hawaii. Yeah. Oh, it's really nice that these are two Polynesian ones we have up against each other. Oh. Isn't that interesting? I just realized that. That I was is like, kind of cool. That's kind of cool. No, I just really like Moana. I like the research that went into it. Yeah. Um, like, I, I remember watching behind the scenes and they, like, went there and researched it and even, like, the songs were written by, you know, people who, you know, po- actual Polynesian people. Oh, that's badass. And, like, obviously, uh, um, the person who, who is the voice actress for Moana is mm. also Polynesian. That's really cool. Um, you know. The, oh, the, and, and Lyndon, um, And Lynn manuel oh. yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he, so he wrote the music so. too. The song Shiny is my life. It um, took me a while to catch on to that one. So and shiny. the more I watch it, the more I really like it. Yeah. No, I fuck with it. Um, okay, so I have Lilo and Sish winning. The next yeah. is Tangled versus Wreck It Ralph. Wreck-It. I have Wreck It. I have Wreck It. I again it, it's one I just I just really like. Um Big Brother versus Emperors. Emperors. Emperors, yep. Yeah, yep. You know that um, with Frozen me. versus Meet the Robinsons. I have Meet the Robinsons. Okay. I had Frozen versus Big Hero Six, I had Frozen winning. Okay. And I re- I do I do like Big Hero Six, but to be honest, I've only seen it once. Mm-hmm. Um I feel like the more I watch it, the more I'd probably like it. Yeah. And at some point as Frozen kind of, you know, goes down a little bit. You know, it's still relatively new in my head. Yeah. Okay, um, so I'm gonna pause and look at the sun again. It's behind something. Smoke. Clouds, fog. We're dying. It lo- it literally looks like Lion King. You know where they yeah. have like the no, that actually I know. looks so cool. I and it was you guys can't see this, but <laughs> it was like down lower before, and it was just like it's literally going behind smoke right now. That's crazy. I okay. Anyway, um, no, <sighs> let, let's continue. Okay, okay so, so again, I had Frozen winning that one. So back up. I have Moana versus Wreck It, and mm-hmm. I had Wreck It winning. Okay, so I have Wreck It Ralph. I had it. Lilo versus Wreck It, and I have Lilo and Stitch winning. Yeah, respectable. Yeah, I get that. Um, as mo- as an actual movie, though, I think Wreck-It Ralph would have won, mm-hmm. but because Lilo and Stitch is such an important part of yeah. my life, um, that's why it won. No, like, because Re- cause Wreck-It, for me, just, like, really resonated with me. And it'll have a lesson. Yeah. Anything that has to do with underdogs really gets to me. Yeah. And Wreck-It is very much about an underdog. Yeah, 100%. And that's why it really gets to me. And to be honest, Wreck-It, I used to always compare to my brother. So I'd always <laughs> yeah. see my brother. And, and yeah. I always see my brother in that. It's like this big guy that doesn't know how big he is and doesn't know how strong he is really. Yeah. And, but then like, I don't know. I yeah. always, so I always looked at it and I see like my brother in Wreck-It Ralph. Yeah, so, no, I see so that. that, that. That's kind of where that comes from. So next is Emperors versus Meet the Robinsons for me. I, I have Emperors versus Frozen and I have Emperors New Groove winning. Yeah. Hello. Um, <laughs> I have Meet the Robinsons. Um, I love that story. I love the idea of how like dare finding. You. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Emperor's New Groove is a great movie. It is. Uh, but for me, I resonate so much more with Meet the Robinsons. No, of like, I, 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 that actually, I, I understand yeah. that. No, I understand that. Of like going out, finding your family, and like meeting yeah. all these people. And, and yeah, Meet the Robinsons is a lot about family, and I, yeah. I really like that. Um, um, Wreck-It Ralph versus New, Emperor's New Groove for me, and mm-hmm. I had Emperor's New Groove winning. Yeah. So that's my winner of the modern era, Emperor's New Groove. Hello. I have Lilo and Stitch versus Meet the Robinsons, and Lilo won. Okay, I see. I saw that one. Yeah, yeah. That that made sense for me. All right, All so right. let's go to Pixar. Ha ha. Which is gonna be fun, and also I'll probably have a lot of unpopular opinions. I so. definitely will have some unpopular opinions. So, the and f- from the very beginning, I'm gonna have a very unpopular opinion. Yeah, I know. Um, so it starts off with Toy Story versus Monsters University. I know you love Monsters University and hate Toy Story, so I'm assuming Monsters yeah. won. Nope. Yep. Monsters University won. I'm just going to put that out there because I know maybe you guys don't know. I hate Toy Story. <laughs> I just don't like Toy Story. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I did have Toy Story win because for me, it is such an iconic movie. Mm-hmm. Um, and for a lot of people, honestly, it is. Everyone's favorite movie is freaking Toy Story. Yeah. And I don't get it. Mine is not, but I do love Toy Story and I love the, like, con- like. But um, for me, it beats out, like, Monsters University, like, for me, because it's a sequel. I like Monsters University better than Monsters Inc. And I know you do. But for, and I don't know why. I just for really me, like it. <laughs> in my head, it's such a sequel yeah. that 
the for, like Forever Monsters Inc. will be my favorite. Yeah, which I mean, again, so, it makes sense. Like I love Monsters Inc. too. So and like Toy Story for me, it was like Toy or Toy Story versus a sequel. Like Toy Story has to win. So um, I just don't like Toy Story. I'm sorry, guys. No, I can't. Yeah, that's fine. Do it. Um, Toy or Inside Out versus Wally. This was hard for me. Um, it wasn't actually that hard for me. I took Wally. Really, um, uh, Wally. It was for the longest time my favorite Pixar movie. Mm-hmm. Um, there was just something about it. Something about like the loneliness he was feeling, mm-hmm. and then like, you know, him attempting to court this other robot, which was yeah. like it was all weird and awkward and relatable. And then like you saw how what humanity had done to itself, which mm-hmm. was really like t- like hard hitting. Yeah. But also like they put it in a comedic way, but then also like. I don't know. There was a lot going on. There was a really like hard hitting story in there. Yeah, like, no, there a it's lot of really, really things. powerful. So to me, Wally ended up winning. Inside Out, I think, I think I would, I, I feel, I thought I would like it more, and okay. I really liked it. But there were parts of it that, for some reason, I thought it was a really well done movie. I'll put mm-hmm. it that way. So I actually learned about before Inside Out came out. I was reading a book that someone had written. Um, I know, before you go into yours, I'm sure. Yeah. I was reading yeah, a book that someone had written. It was my, one of my film classes um, about, basically, the writing process. And this guy worked for Disney. And at the time, I didn't know this guy was talking about Inside Out. But mm-hmm. apparently, he talked about one of his colleagues who was pitching emotions having, emo- or like, a people having emotions and emotions being, you know, like, Beings, yeah. Yeah, no, it was, like, this whole thing. And he was pitching it, and then, like, people were apparently throwing criticism at him. And then he told the guy, it's like, look, don't be upset. Like, y- you just threw out, like, literally... It's like you tried to do a backflip and you expected to land it on your first try. Yeah. Like, we're going to get this working. And then eventually that, I realized later that that was what Inside Out was. Yeah. Or ended up being. And I, that's kind of what made me really intrigued in Inside Out. Because mm-hmm. um, when I first heard about it, I didn't really care. Yeah. Um, but that's what made me first intrigued in it. Um, I went to go see it and uh, I really, I love all the edits people have done in it, of mm-hmm. it. Like, you know, editing just her. Yeah. With without the emotions part and kind of showing the story there, which was really cool. Mm-hmm. And but the to me that part is interesting, and then seeing how the emotions affect it is interesting. Yeah. But the actual story of the emotions doesn't actually get me intrigued. Okay. Me, weirdly enough, um, like the actual story they go on isn't as interesting to me. Yeah. And I don't know why. And See, I kind of thought that part could have been done better. For me. I very much had opposite. So when I um, went to go see Inside Out, I was like, I'm going to hate this movie. Mm-hmm. I don't want to watch it. Um, and I didn't like it the first time I watched it. It's really hard for me to explain. But for me, my like, I have so much shit that goes on in my brain. Yeah. And it wasn't until Inside Out that I felt like it all made sense. And like, I feel like that sounds... Crazy. Really, it was the other way around for me. Like I went thinking, like it was it was gonna be really interesting and almost give people an insight into it. But yeah. I went and I was like, I don't relate to this. See, for me, it was like I could look at it and be like, oh, okay. Like when I'm feeling like this, anger's in like like it helped Wait, me. You, yeah, I mean, I, I guess that yeah. makes sense. So helped you kind of figure it out helped your me explain things and also like organize and file mm-hmm. things. I think because I already had a system for that in my head. Yeah. The fact that when this came out, it was just kind of like, this is like, I'm way too simplified. Obviously, it had to be. Well, yeah. But then also, like, the, the story almost, I felt like, the story they were going on inside had almost didn't connect to me. Okay. Which was weird. I know. But, like, I liked what they were doing when it affected her. Yeah. I liked that stuff. But then their personal story wasn't really... Gotcha. I don't See, know. like, I really was, didn't care weird. about Riley's story. For me, I really connected with, like, the, the just, like, organizing my brain mm-hmm. and how, like, it worked and, like, the psychology of it all. I did connect with Riley's story because I have moved a lot. <laughs> yeah. No, and, like, which is totally understandable. But, like, for me, that's just kind of what it was. Mm-hmm. Um, so I have this, like, I don't know. I love... Because yeah. It gave me something. And I think, yeah, and I think a lot of people like Inside Out, And too. for me, for kids, like... I oh, yeah, I work no. with middle schoolers all the time, and to know that there's a movie that you can kind of help them expl- like, explain, like explain to them like, what's going on. Yeah, because especially in middle school, you have all those hormones running, and Riley's in like middle school. Yeah, that's exactly. So yeah, no, I think that's a yeah, it's a great movie for kids. Yeah, it just to me it disappointed me in a little, which a makes little sense. Bit. And you had like 
things going into it. And I didn't. So that yeah. might be a big thing. But I really like, I like the creation of it. I like yeah. what, like, leading up to it, like, the creation of it. That part really intrigues me. Just the movie itself, to me, and I know a lot of people love it, but to me, almost the more I watch it, the more I don't like it. That makes as sense. Much. Oh. I, you know, again, it's not that I don't like it. Also, like, I Bing will watch Bong it anyway. breaks my goddamn heart. Yeah, that too. Um, I had a lot of imaginary friends as a kid, <laughs> I will say. But yeah, in the end, Wally won out for me because yeah. Wally was just a great almost and expose on the human condition. <laughs> I th- and I think like that was really hard for me to choose, and I yeah, think was, like, both of our reasonings are one hundred percent valid. I think it's valid, and it's, very, it's for two completely different reasons. Exactly, we both, we both felt for them, in, you know, in different ways. Yeah. So okay, so the next is Toy Story three versus Bugs Life. I hated a Bugs Life more than Toy Story. I am so hurt right now and i don't know if i really and again this was almost like the rescue versus the secret anim connection uh-huh. bugs life and ants oh, together, and i ants hate ants sucks. <laughs> but it was kind of connected to me yeah in my head um oh. a bugs life i wish i liked it more oh, um so i did like some of the themes in it like yeah. i like the part where it's like you know hey you have greater numbers than them and like you know mr cricket guy or I can't remember grasshopper I can't remember, fucking whatever his name was uh-huh. he was actually voiced by a really popular person I remember yeah <laughs> that being a thing what was his name I don't know someone we, everyone knows yeah. someone everyone knows voiced him um but like he I remember he was somehow talking about like I remember he he, he talked about how like you know if you let if they know that they have more numbers than us then they're gonna rise up against us and I remember mm-hmm. that, that's a very like like important theme yeah to get no, I think that's interesting but when it got to like how the like the ladybug and the what, the cat. Oh, I love all of them. They're I, so great. It's it was the weird. circus clan. It was not. It wasn't my thing. It really. Oh, wasn't. I think they're so and funny. And somehow I actually don't like it. Probably less than Toy Story somehow, <laughs> which I don't is know surprising how. for me. Because <laughs> that shit. And I did actually. So I'll be honest. I used to watch it a lot as a kid. I've actually seen that movie quite a bit. Bugs um, Life. Yeah, Bugs Life. Mm. I've seen it quite a bit, and as a kid, I watched it quite a bit. I just over time, I just. Stopped oh. really like me it. and my dad. Like, we'll just randomly look at each other and be like, You yeah. fired! Like, the roly polies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're, okay. we're also trash. But yeah, so Bugs Life had to win for me. Uh, I, d- I did put end up putting Toy Story 3. Um, mm-hmm. As much as I don't like Toy Story necessarily, just because toys freak me out, mm-hmm. like moving toys do freak me out, Toy Story 3 was a kind of fitting ending, and I did appreciate it. Except for the that. fact that it's not even the ending. Well,. I'm they're... pretending it's the ending. I know that it's technically not. Because <laughs> they're coming out with a fourth. Yeah, I don't believe that. <laughs> no, I don't I acknowledge don't that. I don't believe that. But it is a fitting ending to me. Yeah. For a series that even if I didn't like it, like, okay, it had a good story. Like, oh, I'm not going to deny room. that. <laughs> I bawled in I didn't my room like a baby. That, oh, I did. When they're, oh, God. I was like, thank God this damn franchise is done. Nope. <laughs> I lied. Um, okay, so next is Monsters, Inc. versus Finding Dory. Monsters, Inc. I agree. A Finding Dory was a fun sequel. It wasn't the best movie in the world. Yeah. It was spawned off of Finding Nemo, which is fantastic. Yes. But, like, Finding um, Dory I really is... like Finding Dory. I do, too. But Monsters, Inc. is just it's closer a very to classic. my heart. Yeah. And it's, 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 again, it's like the whole friendship thing. Like, it's only mm-hmm. make friends with little Yeah. Boo. Boom. <laughs> Yay! It's so cute. Okay, yeah. Um, so, Up versus Brave. Brave. I put brave, and I, I respect that. I know a lot of uh, I know a lot of people love up, mm-hmm. um, and it is very it, it is like I'm gonna put it on the same vein as a lot of others where it gives me emotions, and I do, I'm not here for that. Yeah, <laughs> it no. is actually a very it's a very good story. I very um, very rarely watch up because I'm just not here to deal with it. For me, brave is a movie I actually watch a lot, and it's the mother daughter argument and mm. and uh, conclusion that kind of gets me. Yeah. Especially See, that's my mom what and I have, pulls me yeah. out. Especially because my, so. yeah. my mom and I have a lot of contentious things, and just yeah. watching that movie, is a, it's a very mother-daughter movie. Yeah. Which and I, I don't do well with is, mother-daughter yeah. movies. I can see why that, that would not appeal to you. Although, yeah. the, the bear thing was weird. The bear thing. I'm just, I'm, it is weird. I still appreciate the movie, but it kind of came out of nowhere. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. But I, but also the music and brave. Oh, yeah, the like music it. and brave's great. But yeah, no, up is up is a definitely a very a very good story, a very yeah. emotional story for a kids movie. Yeah, no, one hundred percent. Um, so next is Toy Story two versus Ratatouille. I like that Tui. Ratatouille. Ratatouille. I actually really like. I Ratatouille. love that movie. <laughs> um, the first time I saw it was with my little cousin. Remy. I just, I just love. He has a dream. He's yeah. fighting for his dream. He's no fighting one his dream to him. cook. No one believes. If a in rat him. wants to cook, let him fucking cook. 
no one bl- and I like at the end when he, and I love when the when the critic actually really liked him. Oh, and just, oh my god, oh. I know. I just thought it was it was really clever and the play on the name Ratatouille and yeah. using that. And I just I thought it was a great movie. Yeah. I really liked it. <laughs> okay, next is Coco versus Cars. 3. Now that I've seen Coco, because you showed it to me, I do. Have you not seen Coco? No, I've seen it. You showed it to me that one time we were we were moving in, and you showed it to me. I hadn't seen it before that. Oh, I hadn't seen it in a long. I, okay, I wouldn't say a long time. I hadn't really seen it. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, remember we were talking about, it, and that's why you wanted to. We, we, we oh, watched probably. I and then I went out. and then I went and watched it again. Yeah, because we weren't really watching it. But I really like Coco, and I, I really such like a great it. Movie. And honestly, I hate the Cars franchise. I'll watch it. Uh-huh. And Mater's hilarious. Mm-hmm. And, like, I like I like the characters well enough, and I like kind of the references they make and stuff mm-hmm. like that. But as a whole, I'm not a fan of Cars. See, I... So I did pick Coco. I did pick Coco. But for me, I never liked Cars. I never also really paid attention to the franchise. That's true. Um, <laughs> the same. Because I just wasn't interested in it. And recent, it was actually since I moved out here... I love the Cars movies. After going through Arizona. Oh, yeah. And New Mexico, which is very, kind of where it takes place. That is kind of where it takes place. Um, It's Route 66, isn't it? Yeah. Um, So after doing Route 66, for me, I have so much more respect in the artistry Mm -hmm. of the movies. Yeah. Like, I remember going through, and like, I had to like pull over, like I almost, I can't remember if I pulled over or almost did, and was just like, Caitlin, we are in the set of Cars. Like, it was, like, it was exactly the same. Like, yes, it's a cartoon, but it looked identical. And it, like, was freaking me out. Yeah. It was freaking me out. No, car- I, I'm just not a fan. And for some reason, when it comes to, like, appliances and tech, <laughs> yeah, all of a sudden like showing it. into it. It's not that I don't like it, just for some reason it doesn't get me. It's like video games, too. When there's, like, guns and tech, all of a sudden I'm like, eh, where's my medieval shit? <laughs> <laughs> get that out of here. <laughs> All right. Except Treasure Planet. That was a cool one. I <laughs> liked the steampunk stuff. Um, anyway. So the last bracket is Finding, Finding Nemo. Nemo versus The Incredibles. I had Finding Nemo win. Same. That, that has a very special place. We watched Same. that all the time. I think it was because of my sister. It was mm-hmm. a little as a girl. little girl. A baby, I guess. Mm-hmm. We would always put on Finding Nemo because that was her favorite. Yeah. And she would always do it, and we would always reenact the whale scene. <laughs> it was our favorite thing in the world. Um Finding Nemo has a very sign. <laughs> Can you, you hear me? Come um, back. Yeah. <laughs> um, Finding Nemo has a really special place in my heart. It was my favorite movie when it came out. Yeah, no, it exactly. Took over my life. I would watch it at least so once hot. a week. Like every time my parents, because my parents and I used to have like movie nights. Mm-hmm. They'd be like, "What do you want to watch?" It was always Finding Nemo, um, and. Fun fact into my life, uh, we watched, or right, we were having a movie night, and they were like, pick your movie, and I was like, I'm picking Finding Nemo, because it's my favorite movie, and then they were like, Emily, we need to talk, and that was when they decided to tell me that they were going to be separating, leading to their divorce, so then I had to watch Finding Nemo, my favorite movie, sobbing, because my parents were splitting up, and it ruined Finding Nemo for me. And I didn't watch it again from that night. It was May 5th, 2004. Was the, and then I didn't watch it again until I went to college. Um, and they had the 3D. Do you remember when they did Finding yep. Nemo in 3D? That was the first time I had ever seen Finding Nemo Crazy. since that day. Oh, and, wow. This, um, is such a, this is an interesting story. And it was the first thing... Um, cause I, it was my freshman year of college and I went to a college where I knew no one and it was the first activity that my friends invited me out to do. So it was the mark of like, it was first, it was the mark of my parents splitting up. And then it was like the first like activity of like being like, Oh, I have friends. Like they invited me to go do something. That's so cool. Yeah. And no, that was that's the f- really cool. And I like low key was like in the theater, like sweatshirt, like over my head, like, well, like if I had trying a story not to cry. like that connected with the movie, like damn. Yeah. <laughs> my favorite so movie too. yeah, finding no, I Nemo. I love those stories connected yeah. to movies. That's great. So finding Nemo. Okay. Okay. So, you know that wasn't as contentious as I thought. No. Actually. <laughs> no. So there's that. Um, um, we definitely have some different choices. In yeah. One hundred percent. Um, so for me, it was Toy Story versus Inside Out. Which is completely different for me. Yeah, Go and ahead. Inside Out won. Okay, yeah, I saw that. Um, I have Monsters University and Wally, and I had Wally win. Uh, uh, yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, between those two. Yeah. Uh, as next, much as I do like Monsters University, in the end, Wally is also a better movie, and also Monsters yeah. University is still a sequel. So. Yeah. 
Um, next, I have A Bug's Life versus Monsters, Inc., and I have A Bug's Life win. All right. Um, I have Toy Story 3 versus um, Monsters, Inc. I have Monsters, Inc. win. No, and that, I see that for you. Yeah, I was like, um, I, was like I only have Toy Story Go so far. Yeah. <laughs> I gave it one. Yeah. <laughs> so um, nice. And then I have Up versus Ratatouille and Ratatouille. Yep, I have Brave versus Ratatouille, and I actually have Brave. Interesting. Yeah. Um, again, Brave is just, yeah. again, Brave has, has a special place in my heart. Yeah. Um, and then I have Coco versus Finding Nemo and Finding Nemo wins. Same. Same there. Finding Nemo um, wins. <laughs> Had to. Which was, it was hard because I think Coco is a more powerful movie. I don't, uh, when you say like more powerful movie, yeah. But like Finding Nemo, it was almost powerful in a very subtle way. Yes. You know? Yeah. Like it, it, it made you feel things, but it didn't, it's not like it had a powerful message or anything. No. It was most, it was more silly than anything. Yeah. But it was one you remembered. Yeah. And it had a lot of, like, memorable moments mm-hmm. and, you know, characters that you liked. Yeah. So just overall, it like, it, I think it had, did have yeah. a subtler message. Um, anyway. And then, okay, so then I had Inside Out versus A Bug's Life and Inside Out won. I saw that coming, too. Yep. <laughs> I had Wally versus Monsters, Inc., and I actually had Wally winning that one. Yep. Um, you know, again, I like Monsters, Inc. I... As a whole, liked Wally more. I actually yeah. haven't seen Wally in a couple of years now, mm-hmm. but I did watch it a lot after it first came out. Yeah. Um, um, next, I have Ratatouille and Finding Nemo, and I have Finding Nemo winning. Brave versus Finding Nemo, Finding Nemo wins. I think that um, makes sense. And, and then, then I had Inside Out versus Finding Nemo, and Inside Out won for me. Really? Mm-hmm. Really? I mean, that's interesting. Mm-hmm. So I had Wally versus Finding Nemo, and I did pick Finding Nemo. Interesting. I would have yeah. thought you would picked Wally. No, actually Finding Nemo, because Finding Nemo in the end still I. It means more. It to means you. more to me. Yep. Like Wally, I liked for the story. Finding mm-hmm. Nemo, I liked for the family time we had around it. I was gonna say it's very interesting because Inside Out is what means to me versus um, family, and I picked myself mm-hmm. and like finding yeah. myself. Over yeah. finding my family. Well, like again, Wally was never about finding myself for me. Wally yeah. was just like, oh, it has an interesting, it has a very intriguing story yeah. to me. And like, I'm very interested in it. Yeah. Um, but Finding Nemo was just, just more, actually more relatable. 100%. Okay, so in our goal. Now we're, fi- yeah. So yeah. that's done with the Pixar, and now it's time to go to the so, final four. Final four. I think we have all different. Mo- Mostly different Final Fours. They're all different. I think it's actually all different I final think it fours. is all different. Um, so my Final yours. Fours are Sword in the Stone versus Hunchback of Notre Dame. And then Lilo and Stitch versus Inside I Out. See, I, I see Hunchback winning for you on that one. And you said Lilo versus... Fi- Lilo, maybe? Is that what it was? Or did you pick Inside Out in the end? It's Hunchback versus Inside Out. Interesting. Or my Final I did two. see Hunchback winning the other one, though. That mm-hmm. one made sense. Interesting. What about you? So I had Lady in the Tramp versus Mulan. Mulan wins. Yep. And Emperor's New Groove versus Finding Nemo and Emperor's New Groove. Wins. Yeah. <laughs> um, my final winner is Inside Out. Huh. Mm-hmm. I didn't actually see that coming because I've never heard you talk about Inside Out. Yeah. So that never came up. I, to it me. was a shock to me too, <laughs> which is like I said, like so, Inside. So, so what's your actual favorite movie then? That Hocus Pocus, which isn't on here, is my no, favorite I mean, Disney like, movie. Well, I, of, of the ones on here, like, what, um, if you, if you like, look through them and you were like, okay, this one's going to win. Or this one should win. I think it would be a toss-up between Hunchback and The Lion King. And yet, in the end, you picked, you picked Inside Out over Hunchback. I did. I did. Interesting. Because of what it did for me. So, yeah, I mean, I guess it always also depends what, what mood you're in, too. Yeah. No, I think so. My uh, Disney preference changes Yeah, no, I, again, every single moment. I think moment. some of these could probably change given my mood on any given day. Yeah. Um, um, but, yeah, for me, like, and like I explained it earlier, like, Inside Out really just kind of put things in perspective for me. Mm-hmm. And that's why it did so far on here. That's, that's actually really intriguing, yeah. Mm-hmm. My top four would definitely have been something different if I'm actually thinking top four. Yeah. But then again, it is coming from two, all, you know, four different eras, so, you know. Exactly. Is what it is. But um, I did have, between Emperor's New Groove and Mulan, I did have mm-hmm. Emperor's New Groove winning. You mm-hmm. know it's one of my favorite movies. Yeah. And to be honest, it's, it is, it's very silly. It's, mm-hmm. very, it's, got, it's got my humor in it. One of the characters in it is very much like one of my very best friends, <laughs> and I just love to point it out. Yeah. Um, he's just so, he's, well, he's, he's, just, he's just, he's a very, like, he's not a, like, you don't really necessarily like him, but you also somehow do like him. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's like, you're very self-centered, 
but for some reason, I'm very intrigued by you. And, and then like, Pacha is like the nicest person in yeah. the world. Yeah, and Isma and Kronk. Isma and Kronk are just the Kronk. ultimate, the ultimate <laughs> duo. Kronk is also probably the nicest person in the world. Why are me and um, James Kronk and Isma? <laughs> A little, but the funny thing is, I see like both of you in both of those characters. Yeah. <laughs> so I could see you and you and James playing either part. So. Yeah. Because I don't think either of you are fully either of them. No. But, like together, no, you make up the team. Yeah. I do see that actually. <laughs> I do one hundred percent see that. Yeah. But anyway, no, <laughs> no, but um, no, but it's just it's a very it's a very fun movie, and it has it again it has that friendship thing to it. Yeah. Like, it's very much got the little... And llamas. I fucking love llamas. A llama kicks my car. I have a little <laughs> bit of an issue with llamas. I, I freaking love llamas. I love, like, so I love the theme of llamas throughout. It makes no... Half of it makes no sense. And Not it loves to make fun of how, how little sense it makes. Yeah. And I think I love that. I love a movie that can make fun of itself. And when yeah. the movie's like, so it's not even corny at that point. It's like, it's literally just like, oh, we know this makes no sense. And it says it in the movie. <laughs> yeah. They're just like, by all accounts, we shouldn't have, we, we shouldn't have been here before you. Yeah. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> but yeah, no, it's just, it's one of those feel good movies that I, that I just go to. Yeah. And I'm just like, I'm just, I want to feel good. It's like when I go watch Hairspray, which is legitimately made to be a feel good movie. Yeah. You know, um, it just, you know, it just makes you in a good mood and you know it has a happy ending and n- not, no, no, no part of it is actually scary. No. Like, no part of it actually makes you go, oh. Like, the Jaguars. I mean, but not even then. Like, no, you I don't know. even really feel like, oh, oh no. what's gonna happen? It's the spiders. When the spider eats the fly. <laughs> I guess, yeah, that's that's the one Also, part. Uh, my favorite, Oh, the scorpion's like, going down their shirt. That's oh, really terrifying, too. The, um, my favorite scene in that entire movie, 100%, is um, when he's crying in the rain, when he's a llama, because I relate to that all the time. <laughs> that is my favorite see, gift to I use. I think part of the reason I also like Emperor's New Groove is like, so it's also just because I feel like we're all a little bit of Cusco. Yeah. Like, all of us have a bit of Cusco. Cusco. Yeah, Cusco. <laughs> de- de- yeah, the dancing is really fun. The music's fun. You no, got but- so much Emily singing today. You're welcome. But I just, I really feel like we all have a little bit of Cusco in us. We all oh, have yeah. a little bit of that dramatic, AK- or like really Some of us have it a little crying, bit more. We're all a little bit, you know, we're all a little, you know, we're all a little bit selfish, all a little bit I arrogant. I think Cusco is just the real version of me. Like, he just throws <laughs> tantrums. I want to throw yeah. tantrums all the time. But, like, in the end, like, he makes a friend, and he picks his friend over turning. I also love when he's cheers, because he's he, he was turned back after he was going through all the animals, and he yeah. turns back into a llama, and he's like, yay, I'm a llama. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> He was getting used to being a llama. And then Paj is like the friend everyone wants to ever have. Yeah. Because like even though Cusco has said he's going to destroy his house. Yeah. And like, for, you know, basically is like, you got to take me back home after I get my, got myself into this mess. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Paj is still just is always there to try to help him. 100%. Even when Cusco's being a dick. <laughs> so it's like, Pach is the friend we all want and Cusco is us. <laughs> Cusco's who we actually are. Pancho's the friend we want. I was going to say, I'm definitely like Cusco and my cousin is Pancho. I just like, I like him so much. <laughs> anyway, but, but see, that, that's, that's yeah. the reason why. It's, like, it's a very friendship yeah. thing and then it makes you kind of evaluate yourself in a little, a little no, bit. No, 100%. I, to me, it does anyway. Yeah. Um, and I mean, I've already talked about Inside Out for like 10 years, so... No, but, but yeah. I, I think, yeah, the fact that, you know, it helps you understand who you yeah. are. Yeah. I, I, again, I really wish I could like it more, and I think if it were made, and obviously it's not going to, it's not going to relate to everyone. Yeah, no. So I think it's just one of those movies that, of course, it's not, because everyone thinks differently. Yeah. Um, like, I feel like if it were made in a slightly different way, it would, it, it might have been more me. Yeah. And again, like, I understand, like, the emotions part of it makes yeah. perfect sense to me. And the emotions taking control and, like, you know, the, when Happy and, and Sad were gone, the others were trying to figure out what to do and yeah. them causing kind of chaos. That that part makes total sense to me. Mm-hmm. Um, and that was cool. Um, but when it was going to literally Happy and Joy's, like, not Happy and Joy's, Joy and, you know what I'm talking Joy and Sadness. Yeah. Joy and Sadness, like, the, their little, like, adventure. Oh, yeah, that part. That like... part to me was just, like, why? Yeah. No, like that's Like not... I would have been far more interested to see how they all interacted and affected the human. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, 100%. And I 100% agree with that. So that, so to me that that that's kind of where I thought it was going and where mm. it almost it it kind of pulled attention away from that. 
and that's I understand that 100%. Yeah. yeah. But I understand, like, it helps, you know, it, it, yeah. it helps you kind of understand, and, like, and, oh, that makes sense to me. Yeah, like, and, like, honestly, it completely makes sense, like, when you're saying, like, you don't like that section, like, mm-hmm. and I totally respect that, because, like, for me, it, like, that wasn't part of it for me. Yeah, okay. It was literally seeing that there are five emotions, and granted, as you get older, they would have probably created more emotions. Yeah. Um... But you start off with these emotions, and then from there, um, like, it, I don't know, it helped me file, and, like, and, like, you know, when sadness and, or when, um, joy did leave, like, Mm -hmm. I did have a really dark childhood, and that, to me, that made sense. And when joy started, uh, the part I really liked was when joy kind of started to feel sadness. Yeah. You know, when joy was feeling sadness. Yeah. That part was interesting to me. Yeah. Like, I really liked that. And, like, for me, like... It makes sense that, like... The complexity like, of emotions. That that yeah. would be really cool. And, like, for me, like, the fact that, like, memory... Like, memories as, like, little balls and, like, then as... And they can gets, be affected by emotions. And, yeah, that yeah. part is cool, too. And then, like, you have... Um, I For me, it was very interesting, like, the core memories and, like, how mm-hmm. you have the core memories. Mm-hmm. And, like, as a kid, like, you probably have all happy yeah. memories. And as you get older... You know, sadness yeah. comes in. I really, I also really liked the happiness basically being like sadness stand in this corner. Yeah. Like, d- d- don't touch anything. It's almost like, you know, the ki- you know your brain telling, like, you know, being like, okay, no sadness. Sadness bottled over here. Like, yeah. you're not. And, and basically just like pushing off any yeah. sadness. And then in the end, you realize you should feel sad. Yeah. So when she was crying in the classroom was when I started crying. Mm-hmm. Well, I wouldn't actually cry. But like when I was like, ooh. Ooh, yeah. that got me. Because, like, at that point, it was, like, finally, like, she was able to feel all the yeah. frustration and sadness yeah. she had been feeling. And, like, and that, to me, was, like, the culmination of being, like, this is what I was looking for. Yeah. And, like, <laughs> for me, it also was really interesting and almost inspiring to me to see um, when she gets older, she has um, multi-emotions in one memory. And I think that's, you know, she has yeah. joy and sadness in a memory, and I think... That is such a powerful thing, especially at least for me when I look back at memories and like, yes, this matter memory is very sad, but like I the also the idea of a find, bittersweet memory is kind of yeah, like, like, like it's like oh, it's a little happy, but it's also kind of mm. yeah. So like and like so that really helped kind of yeah. like just like organize, yeah, uh, yeah. So yeah, but yeah. So I, to me, it was very interesting that Inside Out won because it's not my go-to movie. Mm-hmm. Um, but, but yeah, apparently I was just having a goddamn night when I filled this out. <laughs> um, no, but that's really interesting that that one won for you. And actually, yeah. I know a few people who probably would agree with you. Um, mm-hmm. but again, for me, Emperor's New Groove is just way up there. Yeah, and it's it's not it's not even for any emotional reason. It's just it. I like it, and I always when it comes to these movies, I like feel good movies. Yeah, you're a very feel good movie person. I am a feel good movie. And I do like, like, there are definitely not as feel-good stuff that I like. Mm-hmm. Um, but when I'm watching movies, like, it's almost, I, like, I want I want to feel good. I've had yeah. plenty of time not feeling good. I'd, yeah. like, to, I'd like to feel good. Thank See, you. See, I have to, I have to, <laughs> I have to watch not feel-good movies so that I actually feel. Oh, fair. No, but, <laughs> see, look, I feel, I'm just sitting in my bed and all of a sudden I'm fucking sad. I'm like, why is the wall white? <laughs> I don't want I it to push be white. emotion emotion down so much that I need like up oh. to actually be like okay. oh I need to cry today. Um, that, that makes sense. Yeah, no, that, that makes sense. Anyway, <laughs> anyway um, we've Disney. been through this. We've been through, we're good. We, we've done this, and um, it's getting really dark. And you might not be able to tell on screen, but it it feels dark. Yeah, dark. it's really dark. <laughs> <laughs> we're podcast in the dark. Oh wow, it's like actually sunset. Okay, so yeah. I hope you liked this. Yeah, let I us had know. a lot of fun discussing that, and honestly, yeah. it was not nearly as contentious as I thought it would no, be. No, I thought we were going to, like, like, scream at each other. No. Um, no. And it's blinking, and I was I like, know. oh my god. Like, no, no. Um, <laughs> but no, uh, I thought this was really fun. If you guys want to see more of these, please let me know, because I really had fun, like, filling this out yeah, and then explaining it. And then, yeah, and talking about um, it. Also, if you want us to talk about Disney more... Let me know. We can definitely do that. And I think we definitely will talk about Disney more. Yeah. Because there's a lot we can talk about with Disney. And I think we all have very different experiences with Disney. And, you know, we'll we'll see what we can... I eat, breathe, sleep Disney. We'll see what we can talk about. All right. Well, hope you guys enjoyed that. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow us on social media. We have our Instagram, Bitches in Pajamas. We also have our individual ones. Yeah, go follow our individual Instagram. Yeah, just... 
stalk us on the internet, not in person. If you haven't um, seen already, we interviewed each other about our YouTube channel. Oh, yeah. So we have YouTube channels. Yeah. So um, make sure to go watch those interviews, first of all. But yes. then also, go, go follow our YouTube channel. Yeah. <laughs> like, and like, we're, our podcast is slowly getting to other formats. So right now we're on mainly Anchor and YouTube. Yeah. Um, but pretty soon we're going to be completely on iTunes. We're going to be completely on Spotify. So yeah, exactly. I know we have some on, on iTunes, but like it's, it's, yeah, we're figuring right it now. out. We're figuring it out. We're we new. Got, yeah. So don't worry about it. We're going to figure it out. But for now you can listen to us on Anchor or on YouTube. Yeah. So and enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> and have fun bitches. And for, for real though, actually, um, if you guys are listening to this, just as a, like just the podcast on anchor, we do have a YouTube. Oh It'd yeah. Be great. If you could come watch, we don't it. talk about it. <laughs> we don't yeah. really talk about it that much. We do have a YouTube. Like you can see our beautiful faces and we have all these beautiful, like stuffed animals and shit here. Like you should appreciate it. So yeah. Join Any us user. YouTube. But anyway, just letting you know, have a great day, bitches. Bye. Bye. <laughs>